Hi, Alejandro. How you doing? Pretty good, Don. What um, do you got? There it is. <laughs> okay. Show us around. Yeah, let me show you. She's the aquatic, the aquatic goddess, Maya goddess of the cosmos, the aquatic hmm. cosmos. It's a cosmos, but of, of, of the aqua. In progress, yes. Whoa. In general, my art is, is a result of all my experience of life. There's uh, Maria Sabina. Oh yeah, I remember her. Yeah. She's from she, uh, the mountains in Oaxaca. Yeah, when she was young. Because everybody paints her when she's old and all that. But I, I painted her when she's young. Cool. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, well, uh, it's a pleasure. In the beginning there is no trouble But in the end things get so strange Hi Alejandro, how you doing today? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. How you doing? Hi. I want to ask you a few questions so that people that are reading my blog and watching this video get a better understanding of what oh, okay. it's like to be an artist in Mexico. So I noticed on your Facebook page you had a watercolor from when you were 14. They said it was your first yeah, work? Yeah, my first watercolor, yes. And, and that got you into art, more or less? No, 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 no. I have always been into art before that and all since I was a little kid. But yeah, that, that kind of like, it did do a kind of like, a, it inspired me. And, uh -huh. yeah, did you have any uh, advanced training, college, or anything like that? Uh, no, no, no. On, on art, no, no. So you're all self-taught, right? Yes, exactly. So where were you born? Where did you grow up? Well, I grew up in Mexico City. I was born in Los Angeles, and I've been commuting back and forth. Mainly I live in Mexico, but yeah, but I was born in Los Angeles. And how did you come to Temple Salon? Uh, I got sick of the United States and said I gotta look for a place in Mexico to live, come back, and. And so I started looking for places, and here I am, Teposla. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, do you have a trajectory or a plan? Do you see yourself moving? Where do you see yourself headed towards with your artwork? Yeah, where I'm headed towards? Wow, that's 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 a good question. But um, uh, my main busyness and my mind and everything is my life you know where am i headed towards with my life not really with my art i mean like art i do art i love art everything but my main main concern is is, is uh head, head towards a higher level of understanding of life and enjoying it uh, so my art is always there you know and your art brings you to some of that right yeah it brings me some of that yeah it brings me yeah. that tranquility it brings me certain independence uh, yeah you see you see things from a different angle you know uh-huh yeah so so i notice you're really branching into uh being seen more having a gallery having a place up here in the center of town yeah yeah um i'm trying to to promote my work you know like trying to create a a, a level of uh, well, how can I say it? Uh, a level of of, um, of appreciation towards my art, so that they can uh, be willing to pay a little more. You know, it's, it's hard. Mexico is very hard for yeah. for getting good prices off your art. So we're talking about this. Can you compare what it's like being an artist in Mexico versus being an artist in the United States? At some level, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in galleries in both places. I've been in shows in both places. I've been selling in the street in both places I've been selling in. How do they compare and contrast? Uh, how do they compare? Well, they, they compare in the sense that uh, there's a lot of people who love art, but they can't afford it, you know? Uh, it happens in the United States, even though it's, there's a lot of money in the United States. Yeah. It happens here. Uh, the contrasts are that, yeah, you, if you sell over there something for $2,000, you're going to have to sell it for 500 here. You know? yeah. uh, that's the big contrast. Is the, 
I think I asked you this before, but maybe we could tell the viewers. Uh, my impression is that if you say you're an artist in the United States, somebody might say, well, what do you do for your day job? Oh, right? yeah. I think yeah. in Mexico there's more, something more substantial about people's attitude towards art and music and culture and creativity. They, yeah, I, I, I guess a lot of that has to do with, um, in the United States, you know, it's, it's, it's easier to get a, an education. It's, it's, it's easier to go up the ladder. It's, it's, everything is a little more easier. So people take art as something on a sideshow, you know, it's like a sideshow. Here, yeah. a lot of people live off art. A lot of people live off art, you know, it's like, so that's one of the big differences that right here, they might say, oh, so you do art. Oh, you're just like a lot of other people that are living off art. In the United States, everybody lives off making money. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks Alejandro for having this interview and we'll see All you right. later, okay? Hasta luego. Bye-bye. In the beginning, there is no trouble.